Mangla sir, please tell us your experience and association with Librarian Information Science luminaries such as Dr. S. R. Ranganathan, B. S. Keswan, Mortimer Tobe, and Dr. Carl M. White. That's a, that's an interesting question, uh, Salman. I I feel that you are asking me to talk about my teachers and prominent people in the profession. And I must say that when I think of Dr. Ranganathan, I feel that uh, he is really a person who can be given all admiration for li by library professionals, not in only in India, but in the world as a whole. Dr. Ranganathan, as you know, was uh, a professor of his, uh, mathematics when he started his career and later on shifted as a librarian at Madras University and for after joining there he went for training to library school in London. He had teachers like Berwick Sayers and others and after coming back from London on the way he decided that he must introduce some new things in the profession and colon classification was the outcome. It is very often mentioned that while traveling by sea from London to Madras, he started working on the basics of developing a new system of classification which ultimately got emerged as colon classification. Now, so far as my association with Dr. Ranganathan is concerned, as I mentioned earlier, I was a student in 1954-55. After uh, 55, he had uh, completed his tenure, so he left for uh, Madras, and then he actually shifted to uh, London and then also to his son in Europe. But so far as my association is concerned, I had quite close association with him and this will always admire, recall and feel happy to talk about him. Dr. Ranganathan was a person who was our teacher at that time in Delhi University and I still remember that for him, there was nothing else in this world excepting library science. We used to call that he is talking about library science while eating, while sleeping and while walking. I must mention he had one experience that I used to stay on Delhi University campus in Jubilee Hall and very often we will find Dr. Ranganathan calling us in the morning for morning walk and we will walk along with him on the campus and while on the campus we are walking with him he is giving lectures and people used to laugh at us and talk to us that this is the mobile class of Dr. Ranganathan on the campus. This is how I recall my association. His contributions in the profession are enormous, author of about 60 books almost 3,000 articles. Among various contributions which he has made, I only mention not colon as one of the major contributions, but some of the writings which he has done, which must be admired. And one of them is Prodigo Minor to Library Classification. Five Laws of Library Science, which will remain green for all the time to come. And he developed a library development plan which was published by Delhi University in 1951. And another prominent book which even today gives us the big background of functioning as the efficient librarian is library administration. There is an enormous amount of information I can go on talking about Dr. Ranganathan, but to summarize I must say that he was a genius, a person whom I will admire all the time in the field of library and information science. My association with him continued almost up to 1972 
It's difficult to believe, but I mention it, that in 1972, when I became professor in Delhi University, I wrote to him that I would like to meet him, but he said, you come sometime in December and uh, we will have a lot of interaction, but unfortunately he died in September 1972. But before I say something about other prominent people, I must say that Dr. Ranganathan was one of the experts. When I was selected as a reader in library science in Delhi University, because in those days the Vice Chancellor of Delhi University was Dr. C. D. Deshmukh, and C. D. Deshmukh and Dr. Ranganathan were very close with each other, and it was difficult to believe that Dr. Deshmukh will invite anyone less than the stature of Dr. Ranganathan as an expert. And I must say that I was interviewed almost for one hour and a half for the post of reader in library science and that occasion I can always recall with pleasure that I was able to interact and give my answers to questions in a manner which could satisfy the selection committee where Dr. C. D. Deshmukh was presiding. Now when I look at other prominent teachers, before I talk about B.S. occasion, I must say that at Columbia University, I'll rate Professor Marty Martobi as a great and eminent teacher at that time, not only at Columbia, but in the world. It's difficult to believe that sometime about 25 years back, they brought out a list of 100 prominent professionals and Dr. Marty Martobi was one of them and he taught us at Columbia University, I attended two courses. One was the science literature and the other was the computer application in library science. I must add that we were the first group in the world at Columbia University which opted for a course in computer application because in no other library school at that time in anywhere in the world, in other countries, a, such a course was being taught. But I must say that as Ranganathan was prominent and controversial in India, so was Marty Martobi, a controversial man and a prominent man, a man who introduced the concept of coordinate indexing, uniterm indexing and one incident which I feel like mentioning, that in one of the classes when I was uh, uh, listening to him, after the class he said that uh, you are a student of Dr. Ranganathan. I feel very proud about it that you talk about him. But one thing I must say that when you go back to India and tell him that colon classification should be changed otherwise it will die under the weight of its own notation. It's difficult to believe when I came back to India. I didn't have the courage to talk to Dr. Ranganathan about it, but sometime towards late 60s, very silently and calmly I told Dr. Ranganathan, Sir, Marty Matobi mentioned this thing sometime back to me and Dr. Ranganathan, of course, didn't like this statement, but later on, one day he mentioned to me that I agree that colon classification must undergo some change, and it is at that time he started looking at the use of computers and its application in library functioning in India also, and he started working on that. Another person you have asked me about B.S. Keshavan. B.S. Keshwan is another great personality I admire in this profession. B.S. Keshwan was a student at Mysore University. Then he went to London University. He did his MA in English Literature and he did Diploma in Librarianship at the London School of Librarianship. After return from London, he started teaching 
English literature at Maharaja College in Mysore. And then later on, he shifted for some position in the administration in Ministry of Education at Delhi. Once he told me that while he was working in the ministry, his father one day remarked to an engineer that I did not send you to England for this sort of education where you just land in an administrative job. I expect you to do something prominent. And it was sometime in 1948 he became the first librarian of National Library in India. Professor Keshwan had many qualities, a great orator, but one or two things which I want to mention about him. The first librarian of National Library, Calcutta, the first full-time director of InStock in Delhi, which he joined in 1964, and the man who initiated the whole process of establishing National Science Library. And when I mention about it, the purpose is that he was a great institution builder. He will always be remembered for his qualities of a great builder of institutions and also a great orator and of course a great human being. It is in that context I remember him and admire him and put him at a high pedestal to be one of the prominent library professionals. So far as uh, uh, other library professionals are concerned, like uh, uh, Carl White, Professor Carl White, I, I, he was also my teacher at uh, Columbia University. Carl White had uh, earlier functioned as director of library at Columbia University and also as dean of library school. But in 1961, when I joined library science school at uh, Columbia University, he was one of the professors, a great scholar, a great visionary, a man who will think about the whole profession as something like uh, a, a river which we like to give water to the academic community in any walk of life, and this is where I admire him. And later on, it will be interesting to mention that Carl Voigt was invited by Dr. C. D. Deshmukh in Delhi University to prepare a report on the functioning of Delhi University, and the report which he produced sometime in 1961 can be considered as a classic document where he gave a full picture of development, a road map of development for the development of Delhi University Library System. And this is where I admire him and also I praise him for all his dedication. Only one thing which I must not forget to mention, sometime in 1970, after I had joined as uh, a professor and head of the department at Tabriz University, I sent him a letter mentioning that I am at in Iran and the reply he sent to me is still something which I keep in my files with admiration. He said, I always knew that he will not only work in India but you will work all over the world wherever you will get a chance and you are proving my dream and I admire and I highly appreciate. These are some of the information I can add about the people you have mentioned and this is what I recall with pleasure and I feel proud to be associated and be student with some of these people there. Thank you, sir.